Hello friends, this is Ankit and uh, we are coming up with a brand new video series uh, tutorial on a Python uh, NumPy library. This is a very famous uh, library for the uh, multidimensional array uh, related uh, uh, processing. So regarding the little bit background on uh, uh, NumPy library. Uh, this is mainly used for algebra, uh, matrix, vector, uh, related all uh, basic uh, manipulation. Um, okay, so let's start uh, uh, dive into it. So this is the first uh, video series uh, tutorial f uh, for NumPy library. So in this tutorial, we'll learn about uh, how to create uh, array, uh, basically. Uh, uh, with the help of different uh, function provided by the numpy package of uh, python there are a number of different ways we can do it so let's start it uh, so already numpy uh, package has been installed on my uh, system and i am using jupyter as a ipython notebook development environment so let's start it I am creating the new notebook. As a very uh, first step of process, uh, we need to uh, import the uh, uh, NumPy package uh, as a some of the alias name, and uh, we'll use the alias name. Uh, L like np so in future we can access every function method even a class inside the whole package of uh, numpy uh, with the help of alias name np mm, okay run it now let us see what are the different ways we can uh, create the uh, Mm, arrays inside the uh, numpy library so mm, this is the first way of do, uh, creating the arrays inside the numpy uh, library first one is a python list so what we'll do inside the python list way we'll create the python uh, uh, list data structure and uh, we'll provide those full list as argument to the function which creates the numpy array in, into it so let's see how we'll uh, do it okay uh, python list to create numpy array okay Okay, I'll create a one simple Python list in a one dimensional mode. This is uh, the same Python list as a variable A. Now let us create uh, another variable B, which will eventually create the numpy variable. So np dot array here we will provide the argument a as a input which has created the numpy array b now uh, suppose we want to see the content of uh, variable v so let's print it so this way you can create the python list and you can provide as an argument uh, to the uh, array function of a uh, numpy package and uh, you can create the numpy array now suppose we want to see uh, the size of uh, this array so uh, b dot size so it has a total seven element uh, associated with uh, uh, numpy array b 
so this is a one dimensional array suppose we want to uh, uh, s create uh, two dimensional array then uh, we have to uh, create the two dimensional v python and now we'll supply this uh, uh, two dimensional array and we have created another variable uh, of numpy array in the variable d now let us print the uh, variable d so it has a two uh, rows and a three columns suppose we want to see the size of uh, d so it has a total six element inside it including rows and columns now suppose we want to see the shape of the, this variable uh, d so it has a property shape so it has given a 2 comma 3 so 2 is suggesting that we have a total number of 2 rows and a 3 columns uh, are there into d so uh, this is the first way uh, we can create uh, uh, numpy array let us see what are the other ways we can uh, dig down to create uh, numpy array so another way is the uh, a range uh, function which uh, numpy package uh, will provide so let us start uh, creating numpy array with the help of a range function so, okay so we'll use some other the variable m1 then a range np dot a range now suppose we want to uh, fill up the array from 0 to 10 so we just need to provide the 10 as a argument and uh, it will uh, display 0 to 9 value as a part of this array so here the value uh, all starts from 0 and all are incremented by 1 till the 10 but 10 is uh, excluded now suppose we want to start the same uh, thing from 5 and we want to continue till, till 10 then it will go like this St 10 is excluded and everything is incremented by 1 suppose we want to oh, print uh, all value between 3 to 20 in a step of 3 in a step of 2 maybe so in both the above case we have incremented uh, uh, arrays value by the one step but here in the case of uh, this we are incrementing value by two steps so it has created the 3 5 7 so all the values are incremented by the one step ahead so this is another way of uh, creating uh, numpy array now let us see the other ways so one more uh, way is uh, line space uh, uh, function uh, so let's see how line space function will works I'll make a heading of line space now the same way uh, a range is uh, working the line space has a very uh, small difference uh, between them so np dot line space function what it will do it will accept the two value one is the starting value and one is the stopping value and the last it will tell that how many evenly spaced parts I need to do between the start value 1 and stop value 10 so if I want to divide 
the number from 1 to 10 into suppose the 100 values then it will evenly divide the between 1 to 10 into 100 values so you can look at this how many values it has uh, created between 1 to 10 now suppose we want only 9 values between 1 to 10 so this way it has evenly divided between 1 to 10 uh, into 9 different parts the more number of parts you will do the less lesser it will parts become a lesser and lesser okay so this is the uh, three ways we have seen the how to uh, create numpy array uh, python list way and uh, a range and line space function which inbuilt python uh, numpy package was providing to us uh, there is a one uh, specific way also uh, of generating the numpy array uh, there is a zeros and ones and empty uh, functions provide so name itself suggests that a zero will eventually create the numpy array of all values will be of zero and uh, ones will create the all value will be of one we just need to provide the dimension of that array now empty function will provide create the numpy array of any random value which is already uh, present inside the memory so let us see how this uh, zeros ones and empty function will work mm. ok I'll make small heading zeros ones empty okay so let us create uh, uh, zeros matrix or two dimensional matrix of size 3 comma 1 which all values has been uh, filled up by zeros so see it has created the total 15 elements and uh, there is a three rows are there and each row has a uh, five columns so suppose same way if we want to uh, create the uh, ones which has all values will be one three comma five so it has a three rows and a uh, five columns each we each element is having a value one the same way uh, uh, we can even create a three dimensional array also so suppose uh, we need a total 3 5 6 so it has a total three blocks each block has a five rows and each row has a six columns and all is filled up by one so uh, you can see how three dimensional array structure there are three blocks are there as we have provided with the help of first dimension there is a five rows in each block so this is the one block you can consider and each block has a five rows this one this one this one this one and this one so there is a total five row and if you see every row has a five columns so this a uh, six column each row has a one two three four five and six six column so in this way we can create a multi-dimensional array of uh, size three two one in any number of dimensional array we can create with the help of uh, numpy now suppose let's create a an empty array of size 2 comma 4 so it has created a total 2 rows and 4 column for us but all values are kind of junk and uh, random value but it's not a random mm, value it looks like a random but uh, whenever the numpy package allocates uh, memory uh, for this variable uh, while creating the array 
uh, whatever the value was already sh uh, uh, available at the memory location it just uh, accept it so this way you, we can uh, create the specialized uh, 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 matrices and even one dimensional vector and even three dimensional uh, matrices also uh, so that is this is one more way we have seen how we can uh, represent uh, uh, or create uh, numpy array let us see one more way uh, that is a random uh, way so suppose uh, uh, you want to create the uh, one numpy array with some random uh, value all are uh, random value you just need to provide the uh, what are the, uh, the dimensional um, what dimension of that matrix you want to generate so let us see how it will works random way okay let's see np dot random so this numpy itself contains another uh, package called uh, uh, random and this random has a random function here we will provide uh, uh, dimensions so suppose we want to create uh, arrays of 3 comma 1 so it has a 3 row and 1 column oh sorry it has some mistake okay that uh, function name is not a random it's a rand it's a rand yeah correct so uh, see it has a uh, created uh, all values between 0 to 1 of size 3 rows and 1 column so this is the one way you can generate uh, uh, random array of uh, num pi type now uh, these are all value it has generated between 0 to 1 now suppose we want to generate of all values between 0 to 10 uh, we can just simply do np dot floor ten multiply by np dot random dot rand comma four so what it will do actually uh, whatever the value generated by this expression what we have seen in uh, earlier uh, steps uh, it will generate a two rows and four column um, matrix with a random value which varies between 0 to 1 and it just multiply it by the mm, 10 and whatever the values uh, will output uh, np floor function will just make a floor value of each of them so this way uh, we can create uh, um, random arrays and uh, you can do some ma multiplication plus some kind of offset also you can uh, put and uh, it will generate a value between uh, something like this uh, between offset plus whatever the multiply you have added so eventually this will generate the value between 34 and 44 of mm, matrix of size 2 rows and 4 columns okay okay guys so these are the different ways we have uh, seen how uh, we can create the numpy array uh, array and uh, i hope you enjoy this uh, video and now in the next tutorial we'll see how uh, this arrays can be manipulated what are the different uh, operation uh, we can perform why uh, linear algebra related function um, uh, is uh, working very fast like a matrix product and a dot product uh, uh, some of the matrix or multi-dimensional arrays uh, addition subtraction compared to our uh, for loop iterative way uh, what we do into normal uh, python uh, list i hope you enjoy this video we'll uh, see you in the next video series